Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Pina Parada, and this was the first game I played of Donald X Baccarino's after Dominion. I believe it was the next one released if I'm wrong. Don't, don't get too mad at me. But it's a really easy card game. It plays a lot like Uno with some rules attached to it. So the adventure tiles will come out and they'll shift a couple rules each game and those rules will kind of build off of themselves as the game goes on. Otherwise, you're just playing a card from your hand if it matches what's there, like Uno. And if it doesn't, you draw a card and the next player goes. Very, very simple. But those rules kind of complicate things as you move on. Ugh, guys, this one's very, very, very thin. I might like this for very casual gamers if you like Uno, but you want just a tinsy bit more onion in your game. Or if you have kids, you want to play something, the artwork is beautiful. It's going to be really attractive to people. But look, guys, it's not much over Uno that you could just play Uno. If you have that, you know, it's $4 at Walgreens or Walmart or something. But this game does add a little bit more. And the end game is so hilarious. You can just play basically until everybody quits and gets bored. Or there's just about collecting the adventure tiles. So it is what it is. For me, this is going to be an absolute purge for gamers. I'm going to keep this around and play with the kids a couple of times. Maybe we'll have some fun with it. But ugh, not the greatest of games. And for gamers, you're going to want something really light if you want this. But I think you can get this elsewhere. I would purge this one. But we'll keep it around for the kids. Here's Pina Parada, which is by Donald X Vecarino. You're going to have a little small box. Like I think it's portable, but it doesn't fit in your pocket or anything. You're going to have that magnetic box opening there. A little artwork. You'll have the rule book in this. Everything will fit in perfectly. You're going to have tarot size cards here. And they'll be very easy. Sometimes they'll have two characters. But you can see the artwork is very, very desirable. Very good artwork here. Uh, but some of these will just have one. Some will have two. You'll always have the icons on it also. So whatever's easier for you to look at, get a bunch of those. And you're going to get these little tiles. They're very hard, hard tiles. They'll have rules listed on them that will come into the game. And they'll make a map on the other side. As you kind of see, they kind of make a map there. So components are good. It fits everything. fits in here with the custom insert very, very well. Here's a rule book. It's very small. It's going to unfold like this, and you'll be able to read through it. And on the other side, I'll have the rules. Everything's very clear. There's not a lot of clarifications that are in here on some of the rules and how they work. You just kind of flow with it and how it goes. So you're going to have two decks. You're going to have one with all the cards and one with the adventure tiles. For this deck, you shuffle it up. And you'll take the top card and it will become the discard pile. Now with these, you'll shuffle them up and the top two will come out. And these will have rules on them that will change each time you play. So if this tile is in play, play with two action piles. You may play on the pile of your choice. And whenever you play a monkey, each player gets all their cards in his hand to players on his left. So these will just be wacky things that will change the way the game is played. Everybody draws eight cards from the top of the deck and you'll be ready to start. To play a turn is very easy. You're going to have either two pirates or one, you're going to have a bird and a rat. If you have one that matches it, doesn't matter which one, then you can play that card down and your turn is over. If you do not have a card that matches it, you draw a card and your turn is over. The round will end when somebody is out of cards. Keep in mind, these adventure tiles will be out and they will kind of shift up the rules and change them as time goes on. The person who runs out of cards will draw two adventure tiles. He will choose one that will go into play and this will be a new rule. In this case, whenever you play a crocodile, the next player skips his turn, and you will keep one for the map for the victory points on how to win. There are two ways to play this. You can play one. If you look here, there's a map, and you, you can continue to play until somebody's able to make a four-sided map out of this. When that occurs, then you win the game, and it's done. You made the X, and you found it. The other way, this is actually listed in the instruction manual, you just keep playing until the rules become too confusing, ha ha ha, and you start over. That's another way to play. Who should buy this? You're talking thin, thin guys. This is for casuals. You know, you like Uno type games. This is going to be for kids. We're going to introduce them into something like this. But I don't know if this is going to stretch out too far. I'm going to play with my family a few times before I get rid of it again. I think they might like it. The different rules that come out each time are really neat, but they're very simple. And they come out slowly, which is nice for casual or non-gamers. Otherwise, I'm going to tell you to steer clear of this one. But I would probably play it with just absolute casuals or with children and leave it at that. You're not going to see a bunch of gamers want to sit around and play this game. So, buyer beware. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel. Let's lets us know that you're getting the videos that you want. 
If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching, and everybody else, keep playing games.